Wow, like I could not have hit that bad. All right, guys, welcome back to another GM Golf video. This is part two of our Can We Beat 60? Can we shoot 59 on 18 holes as a scramble? And if you guys haven't watched part one, it's super windy out here. We're playing Falcon Lake. The wind gusts are probably up to 35 miles an hour today, and that is no exaggeration. On the front nine, we shot 400 par, kind of just spoiled that whole video. Anyway, we're on to part two. We have to shoot nine under to beat 60, to shoot 59. Our secondary goal is six under or seven under on the back to shoot anywhere around 61, 62. But the full goal is still 59. It's not out of the question. We just got to shoot nine under. We'll shoot 59 eventually. Like that's definitely not out of the question. 59 today is still in play. It's always in play. It's going to be tough. And like we did at Purcell Farms, when the conditions are right and we're both playing well, we're going to be doing this best ball, not scramble. So anyway, let's exactly. get right into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, this is a little 10 here par four dog leg right a uh, pretty good birdie opportunity that's for sure and we have to make birdie we have to make birdie on the next nine holes <laughs> it's possible i we know what we have to do now we just got to do it like i think of all the times that i've played this course the back nine is probably more scorable way more scorable. like i just think it's easier to get around so i think that you know if, if this wind could die down a little bit it could help us but it's still doable let's get it when we used to play in college and have to walk this and like walk all the way around. dude it was the worst walk guys you would walk oh my God. this back nine is so hard to walk too also guys if you do not understand what's going on now and you're probably going to ask questions in the first video if you watched it garrett I... stepped in a creek basically <laughs> and his new, shoe dude. is completely yeah, covered in mud new. so he's playing barefoot so if you were asking those questions already that's why classic garrett Oh my, I played it right and just stayed right. That's uh, you gotta be fun. I did that on hole two, if you guys watched the first video, and it just kind of was the same thing. The wind is pushing so far right to left, and mentally you're just thinking you're gonna hit it left, but sometimes the opposite just happens, guys, and I hit that right. Mike's got a driver here. I'd love to see it. Put the pressure on him and he came to play. That's gonna be really good. Maybe in the right rough, if anything, but yeah. that's solid. What we're looking at here, we're in the right rough. Mike hit a really good tee shot. I'm like over there somewhere in that tall grass. Unfortunate. This is what we're looking at a 65 yard shot. It, we are making I'm playing this 20 feet right of the pin. Yeah, seriously. can't really tell it's it's a little long like on the second hop it almost landed in the hole and then it just kind of released I aimed right there and it ended up left so Micah literally has to aim 30 feet right it's not, it's like right by here. not our best efforts there folks but we got two birdie putts let's see if we can make them all right walking up to the green here we got two looks once again, I mean, mine landed right of the pin, to put that into perspective, and it ended up here. Mike has landed online. It's just everything pushed left. We really need to make this on the first hole. Mike is gonna go first. I like the play. Up the hill birdie putt. Let's get some hype in the chat, because we're about to make this. Okay. I'm feeling good about it, honestly. Let's go, that's perfect speed. Oh my, yes! He just made his own birdie. That's what we needed, folks. Everyone get some hype. He called it. He knew it was going in. I knew it was going in. All right, one down, eight to go. We're now five under par through 10 holes. Let's get it. Hole 11, I'm sitting behind the cart. If you guys want a peek of my shoe, little update, that's what it looks like. Par four here, left to right wind. Need to make another birdie. I think it's gettable. It's just tough out here right now. It's 374. We can really cut the corner though and kind of, you know, make it about, you know, 200 yards or something. So I think we can probably get close. 200 yards? <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's all right. All right, we're going to get to the hole. All right, dog leg left, par four, folks. We're going to hit it over those bunkers over there. You guys probably can't hear me. It's sometime playing golf in wind 
like this, it's not always fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think what makes it really hard is we're trying to keep the audio good and stuff like that. Playing alone, just if I could choose to play on a day like this or a day where it's raining and no wind, I would I would play in the rain. Yeah, maybe. Let me know in the comments. Would you rather play in no wind and rain or super windy with no rain? All right, Mike is up first here. Aiming at those left bunkers, like I said. That is that is the best drive I've seen him hit all day, baby. I think that's actually gonna be really good. Yeah, he's showing up to play right now, and I'm not, so That's the best you. driver I've hit all day, including the entire last video that you just watched of part one. All right, Garrett now with driver. That hair is just looking beautiful. I'll go. Go! Go! If for some reason that carries, it's gonna be really good. But we got two good positive tee shots. Dude, I hit that all right. He actually did hit it really good. It's probably a little bit farther left than he'd wanted, but two solid tee shots. Guys, if you're here watching this video, thank you. Okay? I tell you, appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, let us know down in the comments. Let us know when, if it's not today, when you think we'll break 60 and shoot 59. I definitely know that me and Garrett can do it together. I think that we can do it on a best ball. Even today was scramble because it literally is just so windy. We're, we're kind of on the quest for 50, 59 right now. So, man, I tell you, <laughs> that's interesting. Guys, here is where my ball ended up. That is one of the best drives I've hit in a while. We have about 80 yards to the pin because the pin is tucked way up front. So I'm gonna be hitting a little 50, 60 degree. Garrett's gonna be doing the same. We need to get one in there close and try to make another birdie if we're gonna make this happen. Guys, if you can hear me, Garrett is hitting pitching wedge from 80 yards. <laughs> Don't be long. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think Wait, that's pretty good. It's still rolling. Is it coming back? Yeah. It's still rolling back, folks. That's the shot I had to hit, though. Like, I couldn't have got a 52 degree there, which is my 125 yard club. That's putting it into perspective for you guys. That literally is going to be short. Now it's just not far enough to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. A little too far to the left is what he meant to say. All right, so this is what we're looking at, guys. My ball landed right here. Spun it back to about 10 feet. So we need to make this right now to get it to six under par through 11 holes. Oh, he's dialed in. He's so dialed in. Whew, never mind. Man, that actually, that putt is really fast. Like it just, the wind is just pushing it. But Garrett got a pretty good line from mine, so we're gonna see if he can make this. Oh my goodness. That is just a struggle. Like, it, oh my gosh. 500 through 11. Now we gotta make an eagle. That's tough, that's tough, guys. The goal is still obviously 59, but now we have to make an eagle after a par there. We are still 500 par on the hole 12 here. It's unfortunate, but you know, it's all we can do. So par four, dog leg left, pretty long hole, but it's straight downwind today. So it's playing super, super short. Kind of what it looks like. This is just Kansas right now, this time of year. Like, it is just hard to find a day where you don't have wind. You know, learning how to play in it is important, and it really teaches you patience. Oh, baby. I wish that was farther left, but... Because I think that's through the fairway. That's close to the green. That's going to be within 50 yards. <laughs> that had covered it like got to there and just went and now it's floating away. <laughs> on the same line I can barely keep the camera steady and over the hill. that went over the hill that's gonna be pin high from 400 yards guys walked up on my ball here just in the right rough it's more like 70 yards from the pin I thought I was gonna be 50 but we have I feel like this is almost a guaranteed birdie. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but 
I feel really good about this one. So hopefully we can put this one close. Or who knows, maybe even in the hole. Go. We're on, baby. <laughs> we are on, we are putting. Let's go. I know I'm just saying, I'm saying the if just to help you, Micah. But like, seriously, if I would have landed that on the green, it would have been good. Just landed over that fringe. That's looking good. Yeah. Watch it come off that ridge. That's good. That's good. And we're about to get this to six under par. And we're going to somehow hit driver, driver on the next par five and eagle yeah. it. It's my ball. I'm just recording it because honestly, you never know. That's yeah, kind of close. So we got Mike's ball here. We're about six feet down the hill for birdie. Let's make it. Bro, <laughs> it's supposed to go left. All right, Garrett, now after I uh, just low key missed mine, <laughs> barely slips it in. I just, it's so hard to tell. Like, I think the wind is pushing the putt. But it, it does and it doesn't it sometimes. It pushed it in. Yeah. All right, on to hole number 13. We are now six under. That means that we've already 50% of the hole, so by, by my math, if we do that, we should be able to shoot nine under. Yeah, but we want to beat that. Exactly. On to hole 13 here, guys. We have to go seven under through six holes. We're on our first par five of the back nine. We eagle to par five in part one, if you guys watch that. We have another par five, which is also into the winds. <laughs> like, I think that we can get at least five birdie, five more birdies. At least. I mean, it's going to be tough, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, no. It's going to be really hard, guys, but... If we make Eagle here, something might can happen, but... All right, this is what we're looking at, guys. Par 5, straight into the wind. We both got driving. We got hit really hard. It's 520 yards. Straight into the wind, playing like 620 yards, so... Maybe playing 800. You never know. Mike has got driver. I got driver. Got to dial it up there. We might be going driver, driver on this hole. Oh, baby! Let's get it! That's the most intimidating tee shot you will ever hit. Maybe not ever. Imagine hitting the first <laughs> tee at Augusta. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That would be insane. That gives me chills. All right, I'm swinging out of my shoes, so this could literally go anywhere. Hey, that's actually going to be in the fairway. Up the left side, folks, and I tell you, that's really good for, for this wind. This is my ball, left side of the fairway. Then we got... Micah's ball over there. I got driver in hand. We have 251 yards. I'm hitting driver because three wood's gonna spin too much. I'm gonna try and roll it onto the green. Yeah, and I might hit driver if you hit it well. I mean, why not, right? Right. All right, guys, bold move for us right here, but this is what it takes uh, to be successful. And so Garrett's taking driver off the deck. We got about 250 yards, probably playing like 280, 290 because of the wind. So man, driver off the deck right here would be, would be clutch. Okay, that did go left. It's gonna be in play. Yeah, we're fine. I hit it good. I really needed to roll that and hit it straight. And if I would have hit it straight, it might have been on the green. Mike is going driver as well. We still have an up and down to get birdie. I think he can definitely get this there. Great layup if we're laying up. Great layup. Yeah. We gotta get up and down for birdie and hope we eagle the next part five. All right, here's where my ball ended up, guys. Just right of the cart path. That's the pin right there. I think I would have been pin high if I landed that in the fairway. The rough kind of caught it up. We get relief off the cart path. Micah just noted this is definitely chippable inable. I'm gonna hit 56. All right, for audio purposes only, I'm gonna be sitting in the cart here. Mike is gonna be going first here because last time he went first on a chip, I chipped it in. That's not bad, that gives me something to look at. All right, we got like 12 feet straight up the hill. Just make it, okay? It's a great plan. I think we just kind of misjudged how hard the wind was blowing. We probably could have carried it two feet short of the hole and we would have been okay. But we kind of miscalculated how hard the wind is blowing when the ball gets up. We got a makeable birdie putt. Those were some ferocious chip shots. Micah and I are going up the hill here. Need to make it for birdie. So this will get us to seven under par, guys. 
Nope, it went left. I pulled it. I knew it was going to do that. Boom, dead center. Let's go! Woo! Yes! Yeah! Oh, man, I don't get that excited that often oh like that, but that gets me hyped. Seven under through 13. <laughs> this is good. That is a great, oh, that's is, a great birdie. That's a great birdie, yes. We are now seven under par. I'm happy about that yeah. today. Seven under through 13. We got five to play. If we play them six under by some chance, we will shoot 59. It's in play. It's in play. All right, hole 14. Micah, we're going to keep the batting order. He's going to go first with a driver. This is a beast of a hole. Left to right wind, par four. 418 yard hole, guys. And it's into the wind, so. Out of boy! <laughs> crushed it and he's 150 yards out which is playing about that two so good that's playing that's literally playing 200 yards from that ball wow like i could not have hit that better and it, you hit it 265 yards <laughs> exactly we have 150 yards in it's gonna be uphill so like garrett said 200 yard shot oh. that happens when you swing really hard As Micah just said, that's not good for the visual, and I would have to agree. <laughs> I don't know, that's one of those things though. Micah piped that, and I know if I pipe one, I can barely get past his ball. So I'm like, the only chance we're taking my ball is if I swing as hard as physically possible. And I did, and the hook came to play. Walking up to Micah's ball, he's got 155 yards. Once again, playing about 200. Micah's got six iron to put it into perspective. Yeah, you can see right there, 154 yards to the center of the green. Oh, my guess was nice. Uh, that's what we're looking at. That's the pin. I think I'm going to hit a pretty hard six on it. So am I. Quit turning. Great shot. That actually might be pretty good. Yeah, that's about... I. 15 feet, 20 feet? Probably. If you're going to play it to the right, play it really far to the right because the wind is just turning them over. Oh, that was beautiful. It just did not turn over. Now it's pushing it even more that way. God, I think that was such a good number to hit it too. It's like what Micah did on that draw there was when you're going so into a wind like that, if you play a tiny bit of spin either way, it just exaggerates it. So good thing Micah played for it. I did not. I think we got a pretty solid birdie look to get it to eight under through 14. Uh, that's kind of what I was looking at right there. Mike is down the hill. We got his look at birdie. I've not shown up at all on this hole. That's okay. Sometimes that happens for me. Down the hill, this is to get to eight under, and this is for Micah's own birdie, which is quite impressive. He has to hit this like a four-footer, and it will go the rest of the way. A miss? That's not good. Well, I, that was just a misread. Now I, I can make it. You hit it two feet and it'll get there, so it's just a matter of getting it on the right line. He said he's feeling good, so hopefully that means this is going in the positive. Go. Hit, it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, that way. It did. It was just like going back and forth. God, that is so unfortunate. All right, Garrett tapped us in for our par. And just like that, man, that was a tough hole. 59, pretty much out of the question now. We are currently seven under through 14 holes. The new goal is now 10 or 11 under par. Obviously, if we birdie the last four holes, we will shoot 11. A 10 under number is pretty good. That'll beat our last best ball record that we had at Purcell Farms. And in conditions like this, I'll be happy with that. 10 under is pretty solid score. Obviously, it ain't no 59, but 62 is not bad. Just listen to that. That's crazy. We're on hole 15, which is a par three, straight into the wind. Says it's 184 yards, but it's probably playing like 230 yards straight into the wind. All we can really do is best we can. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video with all this wind. We're having fun out here. Let's get over the tee box. Let's go over there. All right, this is what it looks like, guys. Into the wind. I got four iron. I'm hitting four iron, guys. I'm going to swing hard. I'm hitting four iron as well, and it's going to be tough to get it there with a four iron. It's like 180 yards. That was the cleanest shot Dude. I've ever seen. I got hit in the face by mud. So did I. I started that at like, that was a Zach Radford stinger. Shout out Zach. Holy. Bro, that started like head high and it just like, 
Oh, guys, I hit it as hard as I could and as low as I could, and it's good. That all rhymed. I got bars. If you guys are new here and you want to hit the subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated. I believe like 47% of you guys are not subscribed, so if you want to hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. Any likes on this video would also be very much appreciated. Micah going with four iron. Let's get it. Birdie time, baby. You not spend that. We got a birdie look. Also, update on my shoe, guys. All right, that's the pin over there, guys. This is my ball right here. We got this for birdie. Pretty good look at it. You can't ask for much more in a tough hole like this. If he hits it. It's in. It's a good line. That's good line. Garrett got a pretty good read. See if he can make this. I pushed it. We're gonna birdie the last three to shoot 10 under. All right, on the hole, number 16. We got three left. If we birdie the last three, we will shoot 10 under, which is kind of our secondary goal. That is one better than we did last time, and that is the goal. We got a par five, par three, and a par four. Let's get it. 503 yards into the wind, a left to right wind as well. We're both obviously hitting driver here, and hopefully we can make birdie your eagle. All right, this is the tee box. That's the fairway. Left to right wind. I'm hitting driver. That's so good. That is so good. Right up the left side, and you guys haven't seen it yet, but this fairway kind of slopes back to the right, so you should be good. Yeah, I'm giving Mike a pretty good opportunity to swing away out of his boots and get one in the fairway. That is good. Yeah, good ball from Mike and I. Good opportunity here. All right, here's my ball just in the fairway on the left side. And then Mike's ball is all the way over there on the right side. Into this par five, we probably have about 200 yards or maybe more. Actually, I think we got more than 200. I got four iron, two iron, three wood. I don't really know how it's gonna play or what it's gonna do, but all I do know is I'm gonna have to aim 40 yards left and the wind will push it the rest of the way. Guys, watch this. This thing right here, is like the ultimate selfie stick, okay? Ultimate selfie stick. Let's get it! Yeah, rock and roll, bro. All right, guys, we're about 220 yards from the center of the green, and the green is directly over this bunker. So Garrett is hitting just kind of a hard four iron up the left side, and it's gonna feed down to the green. Oh, man. Or it's just gonna slice with the wind. Unfortunately, that went way right, uh, as, you, as you guys saw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the craziest part about all that is like you look at it and you're like dang that was a terrible shot Look at the divot. The club face was kind of square. I just needed to aim over there The wind just is so aggressive. It just pushes it hard right And it didn't touch his ball because he played a draw That's gonna be pretty good. If that lands short of the green, it'll kick right. Yeah, that'll be fine there once again Every other hole for me is where I contribute, so hopefully I can maybe chip this in. Just on the left bridge. Oh, my wind. No wonder my ball moves so much. Just look. I mean, there's the perspective, guys. This is crazy. Mike is going to putt it. I might chip it. I guess technically we got a chance to make eagle here. Not the best chance, but... That is going to be short. No, it's not! Bro, that wind pushed that ball so hard! It's literally saying, I hit that, that straight up hill the whole way! It's straight up hill the whole way and it looked like you got it halfway there. Garrett's gonna chip it. Alright, I got 52. Well, 52 degree here. And that's pretty wind good. Did not push mine. About four feet short. Alright, we're taking Micah's ball because it's uphill into the wind. See if we can make this for Bird. Let's go, baby. All right, on to the last two. We are eight under. As I already explained, our new goal is 10 under. 
which will be a 62. Uh, I definitely needed to make that putt. Quite happy I did. Par three, which is gonna be pretty tough to birdie here. And then a par four, which is straight down win. So we have an opportunity here to birdie the last two. Let's see if we can be clutch and let's do it. Second to last hole, par three, 167 yards. Left to right, wind gust with the pin on the front left. So this is gonna be really tough. I got seven, eight, and nine. Not really sure which one I'm gonna play. Mike is going first with an eight. That's such a good distance. Ah, that's small. And the other thing is, that was a really good shot if there was no win. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's a long putt. We don't want to have to have that. Are you hitting eight or seven? Nine. A little bit of an overreaction there. Three more feet, and that was perfect. That really was so good. That's the thing, it was like, it was either hard nine or eight. Oh. All right, so we're driving up to the green. Off camera, I dropped another ball, and I wanted to hit eight iron. I just wanted to see if eight was the right club, or if I was right when I said it was like right in between, and I would rather swing hard. So I dropped another one, and I mean, I'll show you guys here in a second where it ended up. Mike, we might even take my chip. I just want to show you guys where I hit my eight iron. This is where it was, long but it was also right at the pin, so I don't know. That was just a tough, tough decision. Dude, we got a better chance of making the chip, for sure. It's kind of an uphill lie, and Mike has felt so far. I think we have a better chance of making this chip, so let's see if we can knock it in, guys. Mine was like 70 feet, so we've been feeling good with our chips today, so we're gonna see if we can chip this in. Oh, man. That's uh, that's in there pretty close. I want to see if I can see if I can get in there closer. All right, we got that for par. Garrett's gonna put this in for par. That was huge. <laughs> that was huge. That was huge, guys. It really wasn't that huge because we're still eight and a par, and now we got to eagle the last hole to shoot ten under. But Micah, it's straight down wind. It's a par four. Micah also made that. <laughs> So anyway, last hole. We can reach the green. I think so. This has been a grind out here, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed these two videos, even though the audio probably sucks and the golf isn't that great either. Hopefully you guys still did enjoy. Last hole, hole 18 out here at Falcon. Hole number 18 here, straight down wind, 358 yards. So we can definitely reach it today, or Micah at least can. We both got driver. This would be insane if somehow we were to pull out an eagle on this last hole. That was crushed, just up the right side. I'm gonna need that tee, actually. It's probably gonna be right, but I think it's just gonna be just right of the green, probably. We'll see. Okay, that's going just a little bit right, but it's not as far as mine. I think we're gonna like it if it doesn't get caught behind them trees. Unfortunately, I think mine ended up down there somewhere, but Garrett's just stayed enough left to end up right here. Really good driver, about 40 yards short. See if we can make birdie, maybe chip this in. Still a little work left there, probably about 15 feet. That's tough guys, that's tough. Mikey needs to make this for us to finish at 10 under. And if he gets it up and down, it'll be a nine. No way. Ooh. Ooh. That's really solid. And we're gonna have about three feet, four birdie on the last hole to shoot nine under, which honestly, Honestly, Darren, I'm calling you out. It's not that bad, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it in this win. I even said in part one, I was like, 65 wouldn't even be bad in this win. So for us to be able to come out here and shoot 63, I'm pretty happy about. Atta boy. I mean, 63. Hey, that's uh, one better, right? No, that tied our last okay. score that we shot. So we played a best ball at Purcell Farms. If you guys haven't seen that, we tried to shoot 59. That course was pretty scorable for us. We had been playing it a lot. There's not much wind, and we went out there best ball, shot 63. Today, scramble, shot 63. I like, I'm decently happy with my performance. I think I was starting to swing it better. Michael was swinging it better with his driver, too. Yeah. We're gonna do the outro by the clubhouse, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, that is about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the two-part series where we attempted 
to shoot 59. We're definitely gonna have to attempt it again soon, but while the wind is not crazy like it is right now, and we'll have a lot better chance. But I felt pretty confident about my game. My driver was feeling a lot better. Mike is confident about us as a driver too, so. Like Garrett said, I was hitting my driver better kind of in the second half of this, this nine holes, which makes me feel good. Makes me feel a lot more confident with kind of all through my game. We're both pretty steady and it's very possible. Let's get it guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Also let us know if you want to see more of this type of challenge where Mike and I try and beat certain records, shoot scramble videos and best ball videos, stuff like that. Alternate shot, we got it all. We can do it all. Just let us know in the comments down below what you want to see most. And of course, stay tuned until next time. Peace.